filtering it it's a morning ritual i think this water after the filter tastes nicer than the bottled water i agree so i would recommend it if you're traveling in this part of the world the water is actually quite scarce clean water is quite scarce um who's, should we do a product plug who's it made by don't know grail not sponsored not sponsored but really good really good piece of equipment mine is now covered in shit Enjoy your water, boys. Good morning, Francis. Morning. Any luck with the phone? No. Nah. No luck. <laughs> we got back pretty late last night. My le yesterday was just... I don't know how everything just happened like that, but yeah, we made it here in one piece. We had a pizza. I've got half of it strapped to my bike now. Because I'm just not in the mood for any more foe. And uh, yeah, so you got Saigon tomorrow. We're almost there, man. You know what day it is when we ride into Saigon tomorrow, Friday 13th. Oh my God. It's actually. Yeah, yeah. I'm sweating. Yeah. In 2010, thought I was doing something. And now I'm rapping with a crew or something. I guess the track don't really stick unless he's blowing something. And I never fit the shoe until I do or something. Yo, bracing myself like teeth, boy, it's the same old route on some new concrete. But homie, these tunes make you get a new ID. I'm trying to do my thing, but the commute ain't cheap. I'm on a two day week for all this rap these days. And we can still pitch the track to all the wack DJs. We're singing happy days, wearing tacky J's. And I'm just pumped that I made it out my nappy phase. Let's go. We can turn a whole world. Despite what you saw in yesterday's video. We did eventually make it back. It was pitch black, it was pretty late. It wasn't the nicest ride we've ever done, but we made it. Unfortunately, no luck with Lawrence's phone. Uh, we reckon it must have run out of battery so the guy can't message him anymore. So, I guess Vietnam has it now. Not the end of the world. Beautiful day today, 80 miles again to do. Fantastic descent to start off the day. And now we're pretty much on the flat all the way to our destination, which is a town in between here and Ho Chi Minh. Two days left of riding. It's a seriously hot one again today. This is gonna be it until we reach Ho Chi Minh. In Vietnam, the only place where you stop for coffee and there's like 20 chickens in the cafe. But there is hammocks. So that was an awesome descent. Uh, managed to get the drone up just now as well. It's a shame I couldn't stop halfway down because some of the views were absolutely spectacular. There was nowhere to stop though. And you had like a string of lorries in front of us as well and people trying to get past. So I imagine on a clear day, our road would be absolutely amazing. Still got a little bit more to descend, but not quite as steep. And then uh, we're pretty much flat all day. Looking forward to a nice incident free bike ride. This ride has been so quick. Mate, we were absolutely flying. Over awesome. halfway. It's because awesome. you're not carrying that heavy phone anymore. We have average yeah. 20 miles an hour. Yeah. Ah, goodness. <laughs> so... Race pace. Yeah, so it's like... It, I mean, it's still, it's still, we're still pushing on, but we're actually getting somewhere. Whereas every other ride we've done in this country, we've been pushing on to seemingly get nowhere. This is a really nice hammock. Why don't you buy it? I don't think it's for sale, Fanny. Everything is for sale here. This is true. We bought Lawrence a chicken. The state of that. It's like the Neapolitan. Now we're getting closer to the city. You can definitely notice a difference in the towns. They're a lot busier. There's a lot more traffic, a lot more cars compared to scooters. And, uh, and the businesses are a lot more developed as well. Way more shop fronts, prices are a little bit higher. It's interesting to see how quickly that happens as we approach. Last bit of elevation of the day done. It's downhill all from here. Why is it so, why is it so jiggly? Jiggly? It's got like, is that like skin to grow into or something? It's like a bulldog. It's got like three times the skin that he needs. It like comes down like a chicken. That was some great dronage. Should we leave though because it stinks? Yes. Please, let's go. What'd you get? I have absolutely no idea. Fried tasty snacks. It might not be tasty, but battered sausage. Deep fried banana! Kinda good. More flavor pizza, is it? 
stick it. I don't know. <laughs> it's fried corn on the cob. Oh. <laughs> that could be printed out of my printer at home. Everybody is so happy. What? I've got a faulty battery and my DI2 lasts about three days before it needs recharging. And of course, I have no means of stripping it apart here, so I'm just having to charge on the go. Didn't you have to do this in a race once, in a Prem? It wasn't a Prem. It was the Tour of Bulgaria, UCI event. And the same thing happened, my gears just stopped halfway through the stage, it was like, 200 kilometers, the I2 stopped working, and we were going up a massive mountain at the end of the stage. And I, so I stopped and got in the convoy, got my power bank from the back of the team car, plugged it in, and then just rode. rode we power bank in the yeah, UCI bank. race. And everyone was looking at me like, why the fuck does this guy have his uh, bike plugged into like a power bank? It looked dodgy, but there's a. There's a uh, when there's a will, there's a way, that's what I'm trying to say. on a couple of times but yesterday was a flat out effort to try and find my damn phone and uh, yeah today really good my goodness starting to feel the effects of the the last month it's all right we're almost there though almost there, one easy ride tomorrow one more day we can't even ride hard when we get to Saigon because it's going to be blocked traffic you're right, you're right. and then happens. two weeks off the bike is that what <laughs> you're gonna have maybe just eating mince pies yeah boy oh. <laughs> so we finally turned off that main road. We've been on this absolutely stunning country lane, smooth surface, slightly rolling. What a brilliant end to today's ride. Doing over 20 miles an hour, so James isn't pedaling. That's the rules. We don't need our jackets anymore. It's nice, isn't it? And I've actually put the AC on in the room. Oh my God. My goodness. See, we've um, descended enough and gone far south enough that it's summer again. I don't think it rains here. Don't fucking say that, Francis. What happens every time you say, it, I don't think it's going to rain? We get fucking pissed on, you little mouse asshole. Come so we're now in uh, something city. It's a town, brother. It's a town. It's like Guildford. It's about the same distance away from, <laughs> from Ho Chi Minh as Guildford is London. We can't be bothered to walk anywhere, so we're just going to get food here at the end of our road. Really want to eat here? Oh, I just had deja vu. Oh, there he is. See? Whistle and he comes. I just had deja vu of coming here and, uh, and looking at this restaurant and going, this looks a bit shit. I don't, it's not deja vu. <laughs> and Kook, I don't know. It's a Korean barbecue place. A compromise. What are you looking Can at? Can we just appreciate the amount of lizards there are on that sign? Wow, that is a lot of lizards. <laughs> They're not called lizards though, are they? They're like newts or something. We should, um, we should be thinking about the sheer scale. Oh my goodness. What have you just You are covered in shit, sir. We thought it'd be funny to pour some water on the fire. And I poured more water on the fire. <laughs> and then got himself with a load of ash. Just like that volcano that erupted and covered London in that. Ash, ash, baby. Oh no, it's not that that's not the right word, is it? That's what the f***? 